Indie Zombie. Hey everybody, welcome back to Indie Zombie Let's Play. I'm taking a look, a second look, at Ghouls and Gals Chapter 1. And uh, this is going to be a full Let's Play just to show you exactly how long this game really is. And tonight's the night. Uh, Brandon and I originally played this uh, probably some odd months ago. This is a semi-action adventure style game with the illusion of choice as they usually are. Wherein uh, you explore many of these different rooms and something different is supposed to happen. My mother kill me. And every once in a while, you get these quick time events. And, um, is this the same game? No, it's actually a bit of a different game. Only this time, you can't shoot at anything. You have to just dodge. Which can be a fun deterrent in that you're playing a slightly better game. I'm going to take a second crack at it. And, and no, and uh, you have to use the analog stick. So, yeah, that's kind of shit. Fuck that. Um... Nothing happened. Yeah. And now suddenly we're in a different room. And a lot of these rooms you see again and again. Where nothing happens. You're just, you're just traversing. Ah! Oh no! It's a quick time scare! Blah! And depending on how well you play this. Uh, you'll beat the game faster. And that's really all there is to it. Eventually, uh, the quick time events get longer. Look, there's a wall vagina. Let's go into the wall vagina. Uh, check out the creepy ghost thing. Uh, let's go up the stairs. Ah, oh no. I do wonder if, depending on how long you wait, uh, if you'll die or not. You'll see this person a few times. She just comes through. Hi, colleagues. I'm a ghoul hunter too. Be careful with the younger sister. She is totally mad and dangerous. Even though when you do encounter her, Nothing happens. She just says, Don't kill my mother. She's mine. Uh, wall vagina again. I mean, some of these sections look cool, but that's really about all there is. Uh, let's follow the blood trail. And now we're in the lab. She's the second sister. It's too late. She's dead. It's very Resident Evil-ish. Try this way to find the mother. I will search another path to find her too. And yeah, you search these books and find a secret passage. Monkey! Oh my god, monkey! A book about the art of necromancy in Romania in the 12th century. And you find a hidden wall. Ah! And a lot of these uh, art picks, I believe, are taken from many of the many of the different games that this company made. Wow, so fun! So many monsters! I love to explode their fucking heads, don't you? Oh, sorry, I'm Sophia, the youngest sister. My mother turned me mad. It's it's not my fault. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, and eventually, yeah, you you just get stuck down these very boring linear paths where nothing happens. Oh, and uh, I just recognized that uh, that hallway there that you saw previously was taken directly from the PT demo. The, young the younger sister tried to kill me. Take care. My tits are practically popping out. But they never will. Haha. -ha. We'll take A. And now we're just getting attacked by randomness. And again, seeing the same... Oh, and you end up just repeating paths. It's, it's so. F this is the problem with games like these, where it's the illusion of choice, and it's just fucking repetitive, and it's fucking boring. And you see this person again. I'm gonna take B. And it's like it tries to punish you, and acts like it tries to reward you. And yeah, and somehow the. The more I choose A, the more it somehow just keeps on sending me back through this linear path. It is fucking ridiculous. Let's try Y. We're in the Silent Hill hallway. We're in this room again. We're in this hall again. We see her again. A. 
Oh no, I hit A accidentally. Jenny died. Rita is the last survivor. Okay, so there's two of us, apparently. Makes no indication of that, that you're just one person. Yeah, and the quick time events get longer. Let's try A again. We're just in this fucking room again. How do you even wind back at that person? I don't even know what way I'm really supposed to go now, because... Go up the stairs? No, you're just in the PT hallway again. Because I've actually beaten this. So what so? Does the hallway change? Uh, is that really meant to indicate progress? Because it really fucking doesn't. This game really sucks. It really does. And I mean... What way are you even supposed to fucking go? Because it's so goddamn random. I'm pressing X and I'm just... Going down this damn hallway again, and then I then I get a quick time, and I accidentally hit the wrong button. Ah, uh, she's so bloodied. Ah, uh, your team is decimated. Game over. Ah, uh, I guess this game sucks. Let's go to checkpoint two. Cause, cause I don't fucking care. I, I, I would like to show the uh, yeah, the quick time events are just meant to be you know, semi-difficult to make you feel like that there's any sort of challenge when really there isn't. I don't really even think it depends on, on how quickly you even hit the goddamn button. And we're stuck in this stupid cycle again. This game sucks, man. Alright, I'm gonna try B. B again. Go up the stairs. And we're in this hallway again. In this hallway again. How do you even manage to go down the same hallway when you go down a different fucking route? How is that even possible? B, X. Okay. Try to wrap this around your head, right? I went through... I went through a side door. Then, I guess, if... If your mind is following this properly, I just went back through the same door and now I'm in a different area. How does that make any sense and how would you even know to figure that out? If you see my mother, don't shoot her. I want to kill her myself. Yeah, and now we're stuck back on this linear path. This is the ending. Just unplug it. None of the buttons matter. You just gotta unplug it. I had to figure that out. What the fuck? Why didn't, why didn't the ghouls capture you? Because I'm just too goddamn good. What have you done to your girls? Scientific experiments, you cannot understand. This, this needs some sacrifices. I'm a resident evil monster. Freak, now I have to kill you. But I won't until the next game. Stupid girl, you're trapped now. You'll be my slave for eternity. Look at my non-showing tits. To be continued in Ghouls and Gals 2 coming soon. I fucking doubt it, because this game is a piece of shit. But then again, these games probably cost nothing for these guys to make. I imagine a lot of the art, quote-unquote art, that you're seeing here is probably stuff that was originally done online by amateur artists, and they probably stole it and just used it for their game, for their very shittier... For, for their very shitty, non-linear game. Because no matter what path you choose, it's the same fucking repetitive path. That's all it is. You always go into the same room. You find some sort of an arcade that you can play that's really just a little bit of a better game. Really. These games suck balls. Alright, everybody. This has been Indie Zombie. Let's play again, ghouls and gals. Really, I just wanted to show off just kind of how boring and stupid this game really is. If you guys like this, I gotta ask, uh, uh, why? If this game goes for a dollar, don't buy it. Buy something better. Hell, you can get a, a much more fun and interactive game for a dollar. So, uh, hope that you guys enjoy. Please click the, the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this. Check me out on Twitter at jmrt 709 I'll see you guys next time. In fact, God, I beat this game in 10 minutes. 
That's pathetic.